You're watching the 39th season of Football Friday. Live from WTOK, it's Football Friday with Patrick Talbot and Carmen Corley. Football Friday begins now. Welcome back to another week of Football Friday. A lot of our teams celebrating senior night, but more importantly, most of our teams are really looking ahead to playoff seating. Yeah, you know, this was the penultimate week here in the MHSAA for football. It's crazy that the season's almost over. Many of our teams wrap up regular season play next week, so a lot of tonight's matchups could lead to home field advantage in two weeks for our local team. Let's get right into the action in Collinsville tonight. Game of the week, the West Lauderdale Knights hosting Choctaw Central. Senior night for the Knights as they welcomed in Choctaw Central. In the first, Choctaw Central with the ball, and Cooper Wesley is going to step up into the pocket right here, but West Bend Cockrell jumps the route, and it's a pick he would run it back quite a bit, giving the Knights good starting field position for their first offensive drive. Knights with the ball, Travion Mosley takes a handoff, slams on the brakes, defender goes Ooh. right by him. He's in easily for the touchdown after that. Next West Lauderdale drive, Caden Peoples with the keeper. He's gonna pick up a huge chunk of yardage right here as he gets the Knights near the red zone. West would make it count as People is gonna take the keeper again. Up the middle, in for the easy six. West would lead it 14 to nothing. To the second quarter now, Peoples with the snap, lets it fly and hits Chase Gaithings in stride for yet another touchdown. This one, all West Lauderdale tonight as the Knights would go on to win it 40 to 14. And the Union Yellow Jackets are at home as they take on the Sebastopol Bobcats on their senior night. It's going to be a long drive for quarterback Mylon Moore. He gets the ball, keeps it, and finds his way in for the touchdown. Adarius McDougall gets the snap, follows his block, and off to the races as he pushes into the end zone. But a flag was thrown, and it will come back. McDougall gets the snap, and he takes off the left. But he's stopped by big Adrian Davis on fourth down. Two plays in. Mason Tucker gets the snap, tosses it to Moore. Moore looks downfield and lobs it up, and the catch is caught by Zai Buckley as he has nothing but green grass in front of him, and he outruns the defender as he takes it to the house for six. The final, Sebastopol takes it 54-36. to 36. All right, very nice. Now we take a trip over to Decatur as the Newton County Academy Generals hosting Park Place Christian Academy tonight. Generals have an early 14-0 lead, but still vulnerable to mistakes as Gabe Germany gets the pick right here. Crusaders would do nothing with that drive, so NCA takes full advantage of this possession as Ty Thrash takes the quarterback keeper, sheds some tackles, takes it 50 plus yards to extend the lead 20 to nothing for the Generals. Now to the second quarter, PPCA driving, they find themselves at third and goal, fail the trick play, the fumble only to be scooped up by Amos Castillo, and he will take it 94 yards the other way Ooh. for another touchdown after a quarter and a half. Generals would go on to win on their senior night, 40 to 14. They now host the first round of MAIS action next week. And Carmen, you got to see a pretty interesting game out in Kemper County yes. tonight. I had a lot of more of a slow start than I expected. Uh -huh. I was expecting Kemper to come out firing on all cylinders. They were a little bit slow, but I think that was, was by design by uh, Enterprise. You yeah. know, they like to keep that ball on the ground, the ball burn a lot, clock, burning the clock, and that's what you got to do with an offense like Kemper yeah. County. So yeah. why don't we roll those highlights? Absolutely. It was senior night for the Wildcats as they took on the Enterprise Bulldogs. Fun night, fireworks the whole nine. <laughs> Middle of the first quarter, Ryder Freeman will hand it off to Tanner Sanders, and he's gaining some yards. It takes a host of Wildcats to bring him down. He'll pick up a big first down for the Bulldogs. Moving on to the start of the second, Freeman hands it off to Hagen Hardy. He's in for six. Kick is no good. Enterprise leads six nothing. Kimber County back with the ball. Can Dave Backstrom with the handoff to Demarius Yates, and he gets a big gain for the Wildcats. That will be a Kimber County first down. That same drive, Backstrom will fake the handoff and fake me out as well. He keeps it and he's going. Picks up another first down for the Wildcats. Putting them in the red zone also. Backstrom with the handoff to Yates again and he's off to the races. Stiff arming and hidden Heisman poses on the way to the end zone. Wildcats touchdown. PHC would be no good. Game tied at six. But the Wildcats would hold off the Bulldogs and take the win 25 to 21. Very nice over Clarkdale now where the Bulldogs hosting the Heidelberg Oilers tonight. The Bulldogs would score early and apparently Heidelberg takes that personally. Here Oilers QB Chase Kraft heads it up to a wide open Deion Gilmore for an easy touchdown putting up 
The Oilers up 30 to seven, barely into the second quarter. A little later, Kraft is gonna throw it up again, and this time it's Jacaden Moore who comes down with it in the end zone. Oilers would go up 36 to seven after a failed two-point conversion. Oilers still aren't done. This time it's the ground game. Caden Porter takes the handoff, makes a guy miss. Hits the turbo all the way down the sideline for another TD. It was that kind of night for the Clarkdale Bulldogs. They all go down hard, breaks. losing 70 to 7. And let's head out to Purvis, where the Tornadoes hosted Northeast Lauderdale. Very first play of the game, Northeast Lauderdale's Tristan Young, and he's going all the way, misses every tackle. He would run it back for a Trojans touchdown. That would make it 7 to nothing, Northeast Lauderdale. But Purvis would have an answer for that a few plays later. Purvis's Cade Lawler hands the ball off to Moses Cumming and he turns on the turbos. He takes off and runs this one home, tying the game at seven. Then in the middle of the second, Northeast Lauderdale's Jace Jimison looks and throws deep to Tristan Young for another touchdown. That would make it 14-21, Northeast Lauderdale. Then late in the second, Northeast Lauderdale's Jace Jimison throws it, but is picked off by Purvis Jeremiah's Daniels, and he takes it and eventually is brought down in the red zone. A few plays later, Purvis's Cave Lawler hands ball off to Moses Cummings and finds the end zone. That would make it 28-21, Purvis. Tornadoes would go on to win this one 56-47. A lot of points in that one. Now we head out to Petal, where it was homecoming for the Petal Panthers. Tonight they hosted Meridian for their homecoming game. Story of the night, though, Marcus Boyle, who was at Meridian last year, now coaching the Petal Panthers against the Wildcats. Panthers had a strong start in this one as Amari Bowman runs all the way to the house for a touchdown closing out the first quarter. Petal cheerleaders throwing Jack's t-shirts, of course, to the student section. We got a few really, a few folks really excited about that one. Now Wildcats have the ball and Meridian quarterback Corey McCann is going to go long, but it's intercepted by junior Malcolm Fournette. He's dodging Meridian's defense and he gets brought down and Panther quarterback Fisher Howell is going to get this snap and he's going to pass it to Corey Jackson and Jackson is able to fly past that Wildcat defense. Here we go. There's the uh, there's the pass to Jackson and he's able to fly past that defense for a touchdown. Meridian would go on to fall to pedal. Final score 35 to 19. Now we head over to West Alabama where the Trailblazers are hosting the Linden Patriots. Few plays in the first aren't running back. Cameron Watkins runs the ball right in to make it downfield, but it's stopped by the Patriots defense. Next play, it's going to be Adrian Hamilton. He tries to run the ball, but again, that Patriots defense is going to be too tough. He's not going anywhere. A couple drives later, the Patriots with the ball. Quarterback Kylan Edwards passes the ball to Tyron Richardson, who gets a big run before being taken out in the red zone around that seven yard line. Next play, Edwards again is going to be throwing the ball this time. He drops back and hits McDougal, who takes a tackle and walks inside the end zone, leading the Patriots to 6 nothing lead. Now the Trailblazers are going to have the ball. Adrian Hamilton running again, but he's tackled. Ball ripped from his hands, and it is Kylan Edwards, who takes it all the way home, furthering the lead 12 to nothing. Most recent update we have in the fourth quarter, Linden is leading 33-8. All right, when we get back, we will have our helmet stickers as well as your college football preview, so stay with us. 